Hello and welcome. Now let's have a closer look at the MOOC matrix and define these challenges and themes. Next week we will look at urban growth. As you already know, at the moment more than 50% of the world population is living in cities, with an estimated 70% living in cities in 2050. The question regarding to this challenge are, what are the consequences of urbanization? How must our cities cope with this extensive growth and at the same time become sustainable and prosperous? Week 3 focuses on socio-economic change or the process of how economic activity affects and is shaped by society. This is presented as key driving force for change in our cities. As the global community becomes more wealthy, new types of challenges emerge. For instance, related to how we manage resources or how we protect street life and community building. Week 4 addresses the challenge of climate change. This is currently perceived as one of the major challenges to humankind. It involves many different effects, like for instance temperature rise, flood risks and other weather extremes. We will first look at the basic processes that drive climate change and then explore how cities can mitigate and adapt to climate change. In week 5 we will address resource shortages. Cities are responsible for about 70% of the resource consumption, but only occupy 2% of the land surface. So in this week, we will look at opportunities and solutions to implement ideas for reducing resource consumption and reusing and recycling resources. The focus will be on the interplay and the relationship between carbon, water and nutrients for food production. In week 6, the focus is on digitization and geodata. Digitization concerns the challenges and opportunities regarding big data and the Internet of Things for both cities and citizens. This includes concepts of so-called smart sensing and user feedback systems. By connecting it to geo-information systems, you will discover opportunities on how to use new ICT technologies to provide cities with real-time feedback and help empower citizens. But climate change is not independent of socio-economic change. While resource consumption can be better managed by using digitization tools. So, in the seventh and last week, we will specifically look at the relationships and synergies of these challenges. The aim is to discover crossovers between solutions and how smart integration and involvement of all perspectives will help support innovative and lasting solutions towards livable and prosperous metropolitan communities. Now let us look at the themes. As a reminder, they represent different areas of expertise or you may say different lenses through which to see the world. The first theme is shape and structure. This describes the physical layout of the city. So, in more scientific terms, the urban morphologies and topologies. The next theme is urban services, infrastructure and transport. By urban services, we mean the everyday and often taken for granted services that provide you with water, food, energy, waste management, as well as transportation. These services require a large amount of resources and often rely on extremely costly infrastructure. The fourth theme concerns natural resources. You already know that cities are hubs of resource consumptions. In this theme we place special emphasis on natural resources in relation to the global challenge to show you. The fifth theme focuses on livability and urban living. Livability is considered an important condition for sustainability. We show that urban living is a cause of many sustainability problems as well as a key aspect for a prosperous and sustainable society. The last thematic challenge concerns policy and governance. This theme describes how governments can act upon the challenges 
but it also highlights how other actors, such as municipalities and cities, can implement solutions to address each global challenge. So, you are invited to explore a specific theme in which you are interested in more depth, thus allowing a horizontal route in our matrix. Or, you simply follow the MOOC week by week, along the line of the challenges. In both cases, we are sure you will discover innovative and advanced metropolitan solutions. We wish you lots of fun following this MOOC.